This is the Iniquitous Baptist, and this is our wonderful Pari Companion. With introductions out of the way, uh, let's get on to watching them fight. So this is interesting. Sarouche can approach the Iniquitous Baptist without alerting them. This isn't exclusive to the boss, and we'll touch on that another time, uh, but for now, just know that she can do this. She can't do anything to them like this, and she goes through them on contact. Uh, that's because the model is down here, while the collision is up top within the swirling energy. But there's something else that's down here with the model. It's Hurt Box. Of course, Sarouche cannot deal damage, so you're right to wonder why any of this even matters. Even those flowers she can pick up do nothing to enemies. What a shame that the triumphant return of version 1.0's gliding bomb attack is reduced to this. What she can do, however, is carry effects that deal damage. After all, she's simply a stand-in for your character. Passively is how she fights as if one so eloquent, superior, and entirely too arrogant would ever get her own hands dirty. As a proof of concept, watch as my awesome level 1 Garo triggers the fight. Notice how the boss has lowered health? Obviously Garo's double digit damage is not the reason for that chunk missing. Now then, with a little help from Barbara and Shinobu, she will baptize the iniquitous Baptist with an electric bubble bath of pain, although they literally won't know it hit them until it's all too late. <laughs> I love this. I can only imagine how awesome it'd be if we could deploy Sarouche everywhere in the game. There are so many bosses I'd like to try this with. The Setek Wainut and Ruin Serpent are at the top of that list, given they both are also stored below the map before the fight begins. Alrighty, we'll give the bad guy their time to shine. Because you can actually have the fight active with Sarouche deployed, and she'll be targeted. Sarouche can take damage, she can even be defeated, which just boots you out of the mode. But fear not, for Sarouche has her own specialty food that can heal her. It's not something one can cook, and I'm not entirely sure it can even be obtained anymore. To heal her, simply use the Wave Rider Repair Toolkit. Because apparently she's a Wave Rider. How about that? Well, we saw Nahida turn into a fungus, and then there was Mitaboru. Guess it's not too far-fetched. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this quirky little experiment. Sarouche can apparently uh, do a lot of things, so if you're interested to see what other tricks the Bloom Guard has, consider dropping a subscribe. This is Musashi, signing off. Till next time!